Hey parents, home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story comes to us from Layla. Hey Layla, she sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com with your parents and fill out the form with your story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Well, my friends, are you ready for this imaginative crazy adventure? Oh, I definitely am. Let's go! It was a beautiful day deep down in the ocean. The water was crystal clear and there was a mermaid named Layla swimming around looking for a new adventure. Ah, today's just gonna be the best day ever. I'm gonna find something new to do and maybe it's that way or this way or maybe I'll go over to the rocky cliff. Yeah, that's where some awesome adventures lie. She loved swimming over to that rocky cliff off the coral reef. You see that rocky cliff went all the way up to the surface of the water. Yeah, you know, on the other side where there was air and birds. Oh, birds were the worst of them all. Oftentimes when mermaids would swim up to the surface of the water, birds might drop something right on their head that was really stinky, if you know what I mean. But also, at the surface of the water, it just lied so many, so many mysteries were there that mermaids loved to investigate and just imagine what might be out there. Well, as Layla swam over to this rocky cliff, she climbed up her way all the way to the surface of the water. The seagulls flew overhead and she was very nervous that they might pull one of their stinky tricks. But then something caught her eye. You see, the cliff that went all the way down into the water, it went all the way up to the sky, almost to the clouds even. But something looked like it had just fallen off the cliff. It was very, very shiny. Layla watched as it splashed down into the ocean. I've got to see what that is. That was the shiniest rock I've ever seen, said Layla. She dove back into the water and swam with her tail as fast as she could. Have you ever seen a mermaid's tail swim in the water? Whoo! They are some mighty fast swimmers. And her tail was bright pink and with teal spots on it. It was also very sparkly in the sunlight of the water. Up ahead, she could see that very shiny and sparkly thing that had fallen off from the cliff up above. She watched as it splashed down into the sand on the ocean floor. As it landed on the bottom, there was a big sploosh of sand that was all around it. As she swam her way down there, She couldn't believe it. This was the most sparkly, shiny thing she had ever seen. Layla reached down to pick it up, and oh dear, something horrible was about to happen. Wow, this is beautiful. I've got to show everybody. Oh, I'm going to put it in my pocket and swim back to town. Everyone has got to see this amazing thing I've just found. As she swam back to her town with all of her friends that were all swimming around the coral reef having lunch, she shouted out to them, Hey friends, guess what I found? It's the shiniest rock I've ever seen. But nobody heard her. 
Hello! Look at this! She held it up over her head, but nobody saw her. It was at that moment that she happened to look down in her hand. Where did my hand go? said Layla. I can't see anything. It's it's like my hand is... Oh dear, my whole body. What's going on? Layla began to panic, but it was at that moment that she remembered... That shiny stone. It must be that shiny stone that did this to me. I gotta get rid of it. She swam back to this place where she had picked up that shiny stone that had fallen down from the cliff. She laid it back in the sand. Okay, uh, are my colors gonna come back? Is my everything gonna come back? It's not coming back! She shouted. Did I just turn invisible forever? Oh dear. All of a sudden, Layla passed out. Oh. <sighs> And as she passed out, she floated up all the way to the top of the surface of the water. As she woke up and found herself floating at the top of the ocean, she heard a voice. Oh no, I'm going to be in the biggest trouble ever. Where did my magical color stone go? Magical color stone? Layla thought to herself. Uh, hello, who's there? Oh no, and now I'm hearing ghosts. Oh dear, this is the worst I ever. Layla looked around and saw a small unicorn sitting on the edge of the cliff, looking over the water. I'm not a ghost. I'm a mermaid, and I somehow turned invisible when I touched this rock here. You what? You mean, did you find my, my rainbow crystal stone? Yes, I, I have it in my pocket here. Is there any way that it can put me back to normal, or am I stuck this way forever? Well, water creature voice that I cannot see and only hear, there's a reset button on the stone. Uh, yes, anything the stone touches, it takes your color because it's a rainbow stone. But if you press the reset button, it will give you your colors back. Layla looked at the bottom of the stone for some kind of reset button that the unicorn had talked about, and I found it! She pushed the button, and instantly, all of her colors came back. Ah, you were right! Oh, wow! Are you a mermaid? Yes, I am, and here is your rainbow stone. Wow, I've never met a mermaid before. That's... Wow! This might be the best I'll ever know. Thank you. The unicorn reached down and grabbed the rainbow stone out of the mermaid's hand. And then the unicorn went on to explain that this was a magical stone that helped the unicorns create rainbows in the sky. You have to be very careful with what it touches because it absorbs any and all colors that it touches. These two new friends waved goodbye to each other as the unicorn climbed back up the mountain and Layla the mermaid swam back down to all of her friends. Wow, does she have an amazing story to tell them about what she found on her adventure today. I'm not sure if anyone's going to believe her. Which, <laughs> if someone told you that they found a magical rainbow stone that took away all their color, would you believe them? Hmm, well maybe now I will. Because it did just happen to Layla. And even though this is the end of our story... It is definitely only just the beginning of all the amazing adventures that Layla the Mermaid has waiting for her in the days to come. The End Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts! I want to say hey to Emil and Felix, from Newcastle, Australia, Riley from Florida, Sarah and Adnan from Turkey, Hayes from New York, Henry and Bella from New Jersey, James from British Columbia, and Lily, Abby, Elliot, and Evelyn from Bristol Road Island. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew. Without you, my friends, will you have a super duper day? And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! 
Hey parents, home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org.